hello friends and works are done on this side and this is basically my first lecture on my series of lectures on api.ai so in this lecture i'll be teaching you about the basics of api.ai so first of all what is api.ai actually so i explained about api.ai by a real world example in my previous video so in this video if we go by definition api.ai is actually a service that allows developers to build speech to text and natural language processing systems that you can train up to your own custom needs or your own custom functionalities so api.ai systems also has a range of existing knowledge bases which are also called domains so about domains we'll also learn in future so now let's first of all let's make a new account on api.ai so open your browser and visit this site called api.ai now after that just click on this sign up for free button and this is nothing you just have to sign up using your google account so it would be showing to choose a google account so first click on signing with google then it will show to choose a google account for my api.ai account so as i have already made an account on api.ai so it would not be asking me so when you are first time signing up for api.ai it would be asking you for choose a google account then you just have to enter your password for that google account and after that it would ask for some permissions and terms of service you just have to accept that and after that you you will just come to this screen after making an account you will just come to this screen so this is it you have made a new account on api.ai so once you have signed up you will be taken straight to the api.ai interface this interface where you can create your own virtual assistant and each assistant you create and teach specific specific skills is called an agent in api.ai so here, here we have a option to create a new api.ai agent so just click on this create agent uh, so insufficient permission so you may need to authorize api.ai again to have additional permissions for your google account so this is normal and click authorize so it's just asking for some more permissions so let it be so just choose your google account again and give that permissions so now you can create your first agent so this is the dashboard to create new agent so what is this whole stuff so first of all this is the name agent name so agent name is just for your own reference to differentiate agents in the api.ai interface so basically to differentiate different agents this name would be used so you can name it whatever you want so i would just name it test so after that description so description description is basically a human readable description so that you can remember what the agent is responsible for so this is optional you can give it or you can leave it as blank so I would just give it as test ball. So add sample data. So I just told you about the pre-built inbuilt knowledge bases. So here's the option to select an inbuilt knowledge basis, which are also called domains. So this is the alarm, customer support, Easter egg. These are all the knowledge bases, inbuilt knowledge bases to which an API.ai agent can respond so you can also make your own agent from starting custom agent so just leave it as blank so we would be uh, leave it as blank so here's a language so language is the language with the agent works in so this can also not be changed once you have chosen it so we, we would be using english and this is the default time zone so after that gcb project gcp project so it will also automatically set up, a, set up a google cloud platform project for your agent so every time you are making a new agent it would also make a new gcp project for you so that's it so just click on save and it would create a new agent for you 
so once your agent has been created you can test it out with the test console on the right here is the test console so you can enter in queries at the top and it will send those requests to your agent and showing you what would be returned after it hears those statements so it would just send these statements to your agent and your agent would process and return some data so just type some sentence like how are you and press enter and if you you can see that his his what we say you how are you and here's the data returned by your agent and you can click and click on show json and click and you can see how the api will return this sort of response to your to you in your app so when you call this agent you would be returning a data like this inside your android or web app so this is this is it and here we can see that your agent doesn't know how to respond so we can see that right now it's not exactly intelligent artificial intelligence and it still needs the intelligence a bit to be added in so we can see that the action input dot unknown so here's it the action input dot unknown so it is the action field and it doesn't know how to respond to this query how are you so sorry so it's also returning a message saying that sorry uh, what was that so it doesn't understand our sentence so it's asking for again for us to type it again so here's it it doesn't know anything how to respond yet so that's it so now we are going to so we are adding a bit of intelligence in our uh, agent in our api.a agent so that it can respond to some small some basic questions like how are you and uh, what about you and some something like this so to add this bit of functionality to this bit of basic intelligence the scroll uh, just scroll down and go to small talk section and just click on it and after that just click on enabling the small talk feature so by enabling this you have just added a bit of intelligence to your api.ai agent so you can also customize this small talk feature so about agent like these are the questions like who are you how old are you you can enter uh, some answers to this like who are you so we can answer i am your first agent so that's it just save it uh, so just click on done so now we have just saved our uh, small we have uh, customized our small talk feature and saved the changes so now we are again going to test this so just click uh, type here who are you so press enter so now you can see that it's answering to a question that i am your first agent so we just added the answer to this question and now it's recognized this question so i think that it would also answer to how are you it is an inbuilt feature of small talk so how are you and that's bad then press enter so lovely thanks so th this is also response responding to how are you so this is it my friends so we have just made a new account on api.ai and also have understand a bit of small uh, small functionality of api.ai so now i would suggest you to just read about some like go to docs and just read about something basics regarding to api.ai and it would be helpful it would be helpful you know in my upcoming videos so just have a look at agent intents and entities these three topics from those section this would hardly takes your 20 to 25 minutes to read it and after that in upcoming videos i'll be implementing this api.ai agent in our android app so thank you friends hope you like the video so if you like the video just press the like button and subscribe my channel for the upcoming lectures thank you